Montrevious Adams is a five-star for many reasons, but let's first start with the position. I mean, the defensive tackle position has become so important, college football and in the NFL, that these guys are so coveted. Big guys that can move, that can chase plays down, that can work their way down the line of scrimmage, that can explode off the football, can rush the passer as well, and not only just be stout against the run, but also get in that backfield and disrupt plays, have become a hot commodity without a doubt. And they're hard to find, especially this year. I think the difference between the number one D tackle this year and number two is pretty extreme, and that's why Montrevious Adams is our only five-star defensive tackle right now. When you look at him on film, what he does initially when you watch is he gets off the ball so fast. I mean, he seems to know the snap count before it's even happening. He does a tremendous job of, of getting low, of, of exploding to the football. He reads the play well. You can tell he's got great instincts, and he, he kind of knows what the offensive lineman's going to do, whether he needs to use a bull rush, a swim move, a rip move, whatever. He always seems to have the right move in mind. Um, they try to chip him. They try to go low on him. When they do get him to the ground, he gets up very quickly. So his agility, his speed and quickness is also impressive. And I like the way he pursues, not only in the pass game, but also in the run. You know, he can run plays down. He can make plays behind the line of scrimmage. And when he's getting after the quarterback, uh, that's one of the things I think he excels at. Because for a big guy, he can really move and he closes very strong. So he's a disruptor. You can see when he lines up, you know, he's as close to the football as he could possibly get without being called for, for uh, encroachment. And then he reads the center snap so well. I mean, the second that ball is gone, he's off the line of scrimmage. Doesn't matter. They're always trying to double team him. They know who he is. They know they've got to stop him, and they simply can't do that. Now, where he's going to go, uh, wherever he ends up, and we know it's probably going to be in the SEC, so it seems this is a guy that's going to be uh, explosive and disruptive. The only question is his level of competition, but uh, when, you, when you see him on film, he's not going against the smallest guys in the world. I mean, they're not huge, but he's making all the plays you're supposed to make and be a dominant force at whatever level level of football you play at and that's all you can really ask so I like his competitive nature I love his athleticism I love the way he gets off the snap and, and really has a good instinctual read for what's going to happen and, and reading the play and not misdirecting a lot